I believe you made it to that Separatist shooting gallery, Captain. Your ship isn't even scratched. It takes guts landing in the middle of a battlefield. Nice flying. I owe it all to my lightning reflexes and crackerjack timing. Clearly had a lot of practice getting shot at. My name's Skavik. I'm picking up those blasters in your cargo hold. Excuse the rush, but uh, need to get out of here quick. This village used to be safe, but the Separatists are taking over. If I were you, I'd haul jets as soon as we're done. The sooner this is done, the better. Sounds like the bombing's getting closer. The Separatists will be right on top of us any minute. Here's your payment for making this run, Captain. As soon as I have those blasters, you'll be free to fly. Skavik, we've got a big problem. Separatists took over the local air defense cannon. Oh, slow down. Slow down, Corso. What are you talking about? They deployed some kind of remote control stations, hijacked the cannon's targeting computer. Damn Separatists just destroyed an incoming Republic transport. I'm sure the Republic troops will get everything under control. They've already got their hands full. Separatist rocket launchers just attacked a Republic walker. Knocked it down hard. With those remote control stations, the Separatists can override the air defense cannon's computer, turn that firepower against us any time they want. That's bad news, Captain. The Separatists will blast you out of the sky even if you think about taking off. The Separatists have remote control stations all over the area. You'll probably have to hit several before they lose control of that cannon. I should charge extra for my thrilling heroics. Good luck. Hope we see you again. Let's move, Corso. We're running out of time. Captain, you there? It's Corso. We got trouble back at the hangar. I leave for a few minutes and everything goes nuts. Hey, this isn't my fault. Separatists are busting into the hangar. We're giving them a warm welcome, but we could use a hand. Skavik, get over here. Help me seal this hangar door. Skavik, what are you... Like a gun dark used my skull as a drum. Thanks for saving my hide, Captain. Skavik helped those separatists get in here. He stabbed us in the back. That scum stole my ship! He took all the weapons, too. He and the separatists must have been planning this all along. Hang on. Where's Torchy? I don't believe this. Skavik stole my blaster. Torchy's a genuine blast tech, all 25 with magnetomic adhesion grip and side-mounted rangefinder. She's too good for Skavik. Forget your stupid blaster. What about my ship? He's not getting away with this. Come on. Come on, pick up, blast you. Oh, what's the matter, Corso? Did I hurt your feelings? Be thankful you're alive, kid. Do you have any idea who you're messing with? What makes you think I care? On behalf of Ord Mantel's glorious freedom fighters, I thank you for your blasters, your ship, and a big laugh. Have a nice day. I think you're celebrating a little early. It's no use. He cut the comm channel. He always was good at making an exit. Skavik stole my best blaster, but I guess it's not as bad as losing a whole starship. I feel for you, Captain. Listen. Skavik and I were working for a guy named Vidu. When he finds out Skavik's a separatist, he'll want revenge just like you. Do yourself a favor and go talk to Vidu in Fort Garnick. I guarantee he'll help get your ship back. Forts tend to be full of people I prefer to avoid, kid. Not to worry. The Republic Army runs Fort Garnick, but they let the boss do as he pleases. He keeps their supply lines open. Vidu's a smart guy with connections everywhere. If anybody can find your ship, it's him. I have to lock down this hangar, but I'll send Vidu a hollow and tell him what's up. Fort Garnick isn't far from here. I'll see you and Vidu there soon, Captain. Welcome, Captain. I'm Vidu. Corso told me we've had a rough day. How about a drink to wash away our worries? Here's a toast to my favorite things. 
The best collection of artworks and exotic beverages in the whole system. And here's to the stupid separatists who destroyed it all. Between them and that backstabber Skavik, I am thoroughly ruined. The blasters Skavik stole in your ship belong to Rogan the Butcher. As employers go, he's not the most forgiving. Should I be terrified just because he calls himself the Butcher? He's killed enough people to fill a convoy of bulk freighters, and now we've crossed him. Rogan bought those blasters to protect his business from separatists. When he finds out what's happened, guess who dies first? The only way we're getting out of this alive is finding Skavik, your ship, and those stolen blasters. I've got an idea of where to start looking for Skavik. There's a guy named Reiki who's an expert on separatists. Problem is, Reiki's stuck behind a Republic blockade. Troops have his village surrounded while they contain the separatists there. How do the Separatists manage to take over a whole town? Separatists have sympathizers in every village, helping them hold towns they take over. Traitors. I'm friendly with the Republic commander in charge of the blockade. I can get you in and out of the village. But you'll have to earn that free pass by taking out a few Separatists to prove your loyalty. You up for that? What am I going to prove by shooting Separatists? That you're not one of them. The Republic isn't letting any Separatist sympathizers out of that place. Riki's village is running out of basic supplies thanks to the Republic blockade. Things are getting desperate in there. I'll pull together a survival kit. You smuggle it to Reiki, and he'll tell you a way to find Skavik. Reiki's at a hideout in Talaran village. I'll send a message so he knows you're coming. You're certainly not a resident here, and you're no separatist. You must be that hotshot freighter Captain Vidu described over the holo. These poor, starving ladies and I are very grateful for the supplies you've brought. If I wasn't so exhausted, I'd throw you a party. What are all these women doing here? Their husbands died defending Talaran against the Separatists. Poor things. Now, I look after them. Vidu said you're seeking information on a particular Separatist named Skavak. The only place to find personnel data like that is at Manit Point. I used to acquire quality goods at a discount on Manit Point. I discovered all manner of shortcuts through the island's warehouses. I kept detailed schematics of every maintenance passage and tunnel there. Unfortunately, I had to abandon those schematics when I fled Manit Point. Lost schematics aren't exactly helpful, pal. Now, I never said they were lost. I'm sure they're right where I left them. My schematics are still in my former home. However, I short-circuited the building's door and sealed it shut when I left. The only way to reopen the door is by disrupting Manit Point's power relays. Once you gain entry, you'll find my schematics cleverly disguised as an extraordinarily tedious treatise on bird watching. Don't worry, I'll teach you the code I use to conceal my schematics. You won't die of boredom reading about rare waterfowl. Now pay attention and listen carefully, because you really don't want to hear this twice. And replace every mention of the Mantellian flutter plume with the number three. Did you get all that? That is the most sadistic way to hide information I have ever heard. Then you clearly haven't lived enough. Once you read my schematics, the way into the Separatist computer station will become clear. Unfortunately, that only solves half your problems. The Separatists encrypt all their files. You'll need special equipment to decipher their data. That's Vidu's area of expertise, not mine. I'll uh, take those supplies now, if you don't mind. These poor ladies could use some cheering up. This party is all yours. Indeed it is. Life here may be perilous, but uh, it has its benefits. Be a sport and kill some Separatists on your way out of here. Goodbye, Captain. You must be the freighter Captain Vidu's expecting. It's a pleasure to meet you in person. I'm Sirena. I'm busy, lady. Get lost. Don't be so mean. It never hurts to have friends. And I'm a good friend to have. I heard about what happened with Skavik. I can't say I'm surprised. I told Vidu not to trust that scoundrel. Vidu's putting on a brave face for me, but I can tell he's terrified. Is it bad? Should I be worried? You don't really expect me to answer that, do you? If something bad is about to happen, I'd like to be as far away from it as possible. A little warning is all I ask. I suppose I shouldn't keep you any longer. Vidu might get the wrong idea about us. Stay away, lady. You're the kind of trouble I don't need. As you wish. Farewell, Captain. Like already, Captain. Uh, help me and Corso finish this robust steak. Don't let this fine cut of meat go to waste. 
Boss, quit acting like it's your last meal. Rogan the Butcher isn't gonna kill you. You planning to eat and drink yourself to death, fat man? I'm being practical. If things don't work out, at least I won't die on an empty stomach. Nice work in Talaran. We're getting somewhere in this hunt for Skavik. Ricky told me he gave you a way into the Separatist hideout. Said something about a secret entrance? I always wondered how Ricky could steal so much from Manit Point and not get caught. Getting into Manit Point will be extra tricky. For one thing, you have to swim there. When the Separatists invaded, they blew up the only bridge leading onto the island. Turned it into their private resort. You'll be walking into the Ranker's Den, Captain. When I get done there, it'll be a boneyard. That'll be interesting, since you'll be outnumbered 100 to 1. If you download the Separatist computer files onto this datapad and bring it back here, we'll handle the rest. I'd rather go with you, Captain. My Vira Blade's pretty good for chopping Separatists off at the knees. I call it Huey. Forget about the Separatist, Corso. I want that slicer kit here before the Captain comes back. I'm on it, boss. Good luck at Man at Point, Captain. Last thing I need is Corso turning one-man army out there. Kid will just get himself killed for nothing. Separatists wiped out his family a couple of years ago. Corso took it personal. I don't blame him for wanting revenge. Mixing personal grudges and business is like dropping a thermal detonator into a fuel dump. Vidu, there's someone named Rogan calling on the holo. He sounds upset. Oh, that's all I need. Uh, stall him for me, sweetheart. Remember the plan. Disrupt Manit Point's power relays, get inside Reiki's old home, and use those schematics to enter the Separatist base. When you're in, slice into the Separatist computer and download everything onto my datapad. Good luck. I became Starship Captain so I wouldn't have to do homework. Come on, Force, and say it just like I taught you. The Republic lackeys will drown in lakes of fire and blood, Master. Death to all who oppose the people's will, Master. Oh, hello. You're, uh, different from most of us true believers. Oh, that's, that's not a bad thing. Master, I detect the presence of several non-functioning humans, specifically the bodies over there. Setting alert status red. This is about to get real ugly for you. Force an open fire! Combat protocols activated. Leave me alone, Bracco. If Vito knew about this, he'd... Vito? That blob can't even protect himself. It's only a matter of time before Rogan the Butcher punches your fat meal ticket for good. You better start thinking about the future, girl. When vidu has gone, you'll need new friends. Captain! Thank goodness. I could use your help here. Make me an offer, and I'll think about it. Here I thought you were a real man. See this blaster up my sleeve, Bracco? Unless you want a scorch mark where your face used to be, get lost. Hey, hey. Take, take it easy. We don't want any trouble, see? We're, we're gonna... What are you looking at, you useless worm? Insult me again, and you'll be sorry. What makes you think I'll waste another breath on you? Goodbye, Captain. Thanks for nothing. Finally! I thought you'd never get back. Tell me you've got those Separatist files. The Separatists never knew what hit them. I hate missing all the fun. Next time I want to go. You did good, Captain. Corsa found us a terrific little slicer kit, so we're ready to decrypt that data. We'll know where to find Skavik soon, but until then, I've got a special job that only you can do. Until I get my ship back, my schedule's pretty open. I have an exciting opportunity for us to all stay alive. I need you to keep Rogan the Butcher off our backs. Sirena stalled him earlier, but it's not enough. We need to distract Rogan by giving him something he really wants. A canister of some special chemicals from a nearby village. 
The big boom run? Are you kidding, boss? I can see it making Rogan's day, but it's blasted risky. All I care about is finding Skavik and getting back what's mine. If we don't get Rogan off our backs, you won't get the chance to do that. Hear me out. There's a loopy scientist with a chemical that can supercharge artillery cannons and makes them do more damage. But it's less stable than a drunk Savrip on a speeder bike. Handle it wrong, and suddenly you're little chunks of ex-captain. Sure, it's tricky, but you've got the skill to get it here. Did I mention this run pays unbelievably well? Just how unbelievably well are we talking about? You do this, and you can buy some nice upgrades for your starship when you finally get it back. Trimbo is the scientist's name. Got a place in Oradam Village. I'll let him know you're coming. See me before you make that run, Captain. We should talk. Captain, the big boom run isn't a stroll on the beach. You'll need an edge to make it back alive. This here is a Sorosub SSK Heavy Blaster. It's cut for a quick draw and got a hair trigger. I call it Flashy. Flashy can bullseye a saver between the eyes five times before the critter even knows it's dead. Here, take it. If I take this, what'll you use in a fight? I can take care of business just fine with Huey here. Best of luck, Captain. Don't get killed, all right? You must be here for my husband. I told Master Vidu he's gone out fishing. Would you like a sweet flat cake instead? It's fresh. This whole place is crawling with separatists. What's Trimbo doing out fishing? Catching dinner, I hope. We're making Aqualish medley. If you don't feel like waiting for Trimbo, the walk out to him is lovely. The beach is so relaxing. Trimbo's at his fishing camp. He'll be thrilled to have some company. And now, excuse me, dearie, these rhodian peppers won't cook themselves. Don't, don't stand there. That spot is reserved exclusively for my Gundark friends. You're clearly not a Gundark. Your ears are too small. Listen, do you smell that? There's a pot of Alderanian stew bubbling. But how could I smell it all the way on Ord Mantel? That's quite a stench you got going, crazy old man. Stench? Impossible. I bathe eight times a day. It's the only way to keep that invisible Kowakian monkey lizard from drinking all my blood. Hmm. I do recall a man saying to expect a stranger coming for my chemicals. You seem pretty strange. Was he talking about you? You've inhaled a lot of chemicals, haven't you? Did my wife tell you that? She's been dead 20 years now. Don't listen to her. People haven't had much luck getting my chemicals. Know why? Those Ugnot assassins in the woods attack everyone who visits me. Ugnot assassins? Don't you mean separatists? Who do you really think controls the separatists? Those crafty little swine, that's who. But we can beat them. What you really need is a precision teleporter. But a former assistant crashed my prototype into the sun. Good luck, my friend. If you should explode, Please, feel free to come back and tell me all about it. Everyone else has. Easy does it. I've got a storage unit here to stabilize the canister so it doesn't blow. There we go. This may be the craziest thing I've ever done. I'll bet you get a lot of free drinks at the cantina telling this tale. Getting Trimbo's chemicals saved our necks, Captain. Rogan will be too busy selling them to think about the blasters. That Trimbo guy was a few freighters short of a convoy. I know what you mean. Every time I talk to him, he thinks I'm his great-grandfather who crashed into a black hole. I've got good news and great news, Captain. We cracked the Separatist computer files and found Skavik. Vidu, you promised you wouldn't get so excited. It isn't good for your heart. I'm sorry, sweetie. This is going to be great! Skavik won't even see us coming! Ha! I want Skavik to see my face before he dies. Before you fry him, make sure he knows I sent you. Skavik is taking the blasters to the Separatist base. Those wackos built their headquarters inside an old volcano. Crazy, huh? What do you expect from foaming at the mouth murderers? I wish that volcano would blow its top. Skavik's delivering the blasters to a psycho named Darek at the base. You need to get there first. When Skavik shows up, you can ambush him, grab your ship, and fly back here. Easy, huh? Easy isn't the first word that comes to mind. Well, what if I sent along a little help? 
Take Corso with you, Captain. The kid knows more about blasters and vibroblades than anybody I've ever met. I owe Scav a payback for taking Torchy. That was lower than low. It'll be nice to have some backup out there. <laughs> Glad you think so. Then it's a deal. You two head for the Separatist base, kill Darig, and ambush Skavik when he shows up. I've got a bottle of Chandralin brandy to open when you get back. I'm just looking forward to getting back into space. I'd wish you two good luck, but I don't want to jinx anything. Just come back in one piece. You worthless criminal vermin. How dare you invade my fortress and murder my courageous brothers in arms! Not everyone gets a happy ending. Our fallen will be remembered as heroes. You won't be remembered at all. You are guilty of crimes against the oppressed people of Ord Mantell. The sentence is death. Memorize our faces well, you criminal filth, for we are your righteous executioners. Do you have any last words, degenerate swine? I love killing morons like you. Let justice be served! Surrender! I surrender! Please! I don't want to die! I know why you're here, and you're wasting your time! You realize you're a dead man, right? I'm begging you! Let me leave here alive, and I swear I'll quit the Separatists for good! Derek was stupid to fight you. He got everyone killed, when he should have just told you the truth. The Skavik showed up a few hours ago to deliver the guns, but it was all a trick. He pretended to be on our side so he could steal some rusty antique droid from Derek. Doesn't even make any sense. I know. Skavik helped us out a lot. We thought he was one of us. That droid was ancient. He's practically useless. But Skavik grabbed it like some big treasure and blasted his way out. He left in your ship. I don't know where he went, but I can guess who does. Skavik has a girl at Fort Garnick named Sirena. Sirena just made my hit list. She deserves it. She tried to get you killed. It was Sirena who warned us you were coming. If you want to find out where Skavik went, Sirena's the one who knows. Please, let me go. I have a family back on the mainland. Please. Separatist scum killed my family, and I promised myself I'd bury every last one of you. I... I've only been here a few months. I didn't kill anyone's family. I only ever followed orders. Then I order you to die. You heard the man, soldier. Please! I don't want to die like this! We're done here. Let's go see what Sirena has to say for herself. I can't believe you fried Vito, sweetheart. So what if he caught you talking to Separatists? He threatened to turn me into Rogan the Butcher. I had to kill him. Besides, now we can finally be together. Yeah. And the thing is, my cargo hold is full and you know, I'm busy with work. I'll call you sometime, though. I promise. What are you talking about? You promised to get me out of here. I've done everything for you, Skavik. You did it for the money. Same as me. The only difference is... You're not actually getting paid. I'll see you around, darling. <clears throat> Captain, I... I didn't see you come in. It's wonderful you're still alive. How long have you been back? Lady, I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. I guess you heard all that, huh? Look, I know things that can help you. Skavik used me just like he did everyone else. That man could charm the armor off a Mandalorian. Rogue and the Butcher's bounty hunters are on their way right now. We don't want to be here when they arrive. Skavik took your ship and the guns to Coruscant. If you go now, he won't know you're coming for him. I still have plenty of time to kill you before I go. Every second you waste threatening me lets Rogan's bounty hunters get closer. Am I really worth it? The Separatists are retreating from this island, thanks to you. And the Republic just reopened the shuttle port. 
I'll give you a shuttle pass to Coruscant if you let me disappear. Do we have a deal? I'll take that shuttle pass off your corpse. That was cold-blooded, Captain. Where I come from, real men don't shoot ladies. Well, where I come from, we kill anybody we want. Got it? All I'm saying is, executing women is hard on my conscience. Poor old Vito. I wish he could hear what we did. Would have put a smile on his face. It's not healthy for us to stick around, Captain. I believe what Sirena said about bounty hunters coming. We don't know how long Skavik will stay on Coruscant either. Let's hop a shuttle and catch him while we can. You're planning to tag along? I'm not bailing on you now, Captain. Besides, my Torchy still needs rescuing. Vito left me some stuff. I expect he'd want me to share it with you. Let's head for the shuttle board. We'll be off this planet before you know it. Anguas nimni mata sunri for patbocha will be. I'm sick of being cooped up on starships, Zoru. I want to run around and shoot things for a while. Biz gamayo kojedwanti. Noa hauyat yachavopa. I'll be sure to call Rogan sometime. Tell him I said hello. Chut chut. Bocha gola chano gando do waletapa. Biz gamayo kojedwanti. Noa hauyat yachavopa. Shut up and die, you freaks. But I'm glad you didn't. Better? Ah. Oh. 